Hello everyone, this is Issa2 here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I'll just have me playing Minecraft in the background, and while that's happening, I'm gonna tell you about the 2021 Minecraft Live mob vote. So, there are three mobs that Mojang has, like, told us about. We get to vote for one of them, the one that we like the best. Whichever one gets the most votes gets added to Minecraft. So let's go over the three different mobs. So the first one is called the glare. And what it does is it's like this little green monster. And it gets grumpy in the dark because it doesn't like the dark. So if it's dark enough for hostile mobs to spawn, then it'll get grumpy. And then it'll show you. That you need to like put a torch there or something. And I think that's pretty useful. Because like if you're going caving. And you want to mob proof the entire place with lighting. If you don't want any zombies or creepers to spawn. Then you can bring a glare with you. And it's like your little pet. And if it's time for you to place a torch. It'll get grumpy and you're like. Okay I'm going to place a torch here now. Now, one thing that I have to say about this is that you can just install a texture pack. Like, there are many texture packs out there that just tell you if hostile mobs can spawn on that block. Although, I just like not installing texture packs because it kind of ruins the vanilla Minecraft vibe. So that's why I don't do it. I don't install texture packs, which, in my opinion, the glare would be a nice addition to Minecraft. Alright, so moving on to the next mob, the second one, the alley. So, the idea of this one is, it's like this little ghost looking thing. Now, at first glance, I thought it looked like a vex, so... I bet a lot of people might mistake it for a Vex, so they might have to, like, make sure that you can easily differentiate the alley from the Vex if it gets added. So what happens is, if you have a note block, and, like, you do music with the note block, um, you can give it an item, and then it'll bring, it'll collect more of that item and bring it back to you. Now, this is a really cool idea. Like, it can collect and gather resources for you. Like, in the little Minecraft short movies, um, they give the LA a cookie, and then it brings back five cookies. And that sounds like a really fun idea. But after you think about it, you could give it, like, a diamond or a netherite ingot. And it would be way too OP if it just brings you back five netherite ingots or diamonds. And I'm pretty sure if that gets added, they're going to need to do a lot of balancing for the alley. Um, also, another question is, how does it get the items? Does it, like, find them in, like, the wild? It mines down to like Y level 5 and then mines for diamonds? <laughs> or does it like, um, does it find any items that are just floating around? If you had like a floating diamond that you dropped, you can get the alley to fly over, pick it up, and bring it back to you. Which is a nice idea. Like, if you accidentally dropped your diamond on like, a cliff, and you didn't want to do, like, parkour to get the diamond. If it's, like, on a lower elevation. Then you could, like, get an alley, give it a diamond, and then it'll go and retrieve that diamond for you. So it could get you out of a few dangerous places. Which is a great idea. But also, I feel like if it gets added, people are going to make farms with it. And they're going to overuse it. And... It might make Minecraft too easy if it does that. 
But another way it could get the items is if it gets it from chests. So if you had a chest filled with a bunch of stuff and you needed to organize through it, you give it this item and then it brings that item out of the chest for you. That would be super useful because personally my chests, they are a mess. So the alley would be a good addition. And the third mob is the copper golem. The idea of the copper golem is it's just like the other golems in Minecraft. The iron golem and the snow golem. Where you can create it yourself. It's player made. But the copper golem, it oxidizes just like the normal copper. So over time, it gets from like the shiny orange color to the blue color. And if it's more orange, then it'll be energetic and fast. And then when it oxidizes and it turns into like the bluey color, then it loses its power, just like a battery would. I think that's a cool idea because it's just like the copper. And also, the copper golem has another feature. Um, if there are any copper buttons around, then it will power those. So you could make some interesting redstone circuits with the copper golems. It could be, um, I think there are some Minecraft escape rooms out there, probably. If you were doing one of those, maybe it's like you need the copper golem to get through, because maybe only copper golems can press copper buttons. That would be an interesting feature. Um, another question about the copper golem is... Is it like the iron golem and the snow golem? Does it defend against mobs? Well, the copper golem is a little bit smaller in the short Minecraft films. So it probably won't be able to defend against mobs. Which is not good. Because, like, it kind of doesn't follow the theme. If the other two golems defend against mobs, then it'll be breaking the theme of the golems. So maybe it's just like the iron golem, but it doesn't do as much damage. And those are my thoughts on the three mobs in the mob vote for Minecraft Live 2021. Um, in my opinion, I think the copper golem is the best, but... That's just my opinion. Remember, it's your opinion on which one you vote for, so you choose which one you like the most, and then vote for it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye!